Hey guys, Teacher Briggs here to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. I'm always getting questions about how to prepare for TOEFL, how to study for this exam, what kind of exercises to do, what kind of books to use. So I decided to make this quick video to talk about it, how to prepare for TOEFL, okay? Or TOEFL. Uh, as it's letters, many people pronounce it differently. So I've heard TOEFL, I've heard TOEFL. So I decided to come up with three ideas on things, on practical things you can do uh, on your everyday studies to help you prepare for that. So millions of people take TOEFL. If you don't know much about the exam, I'm leaving a link in the descriptions so that you can uh, read about it, understand about it, uh, understand uh, if you need this certificate or not. Okay, not everybody needs it. So uh, read about it and uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So idea one, make a plan. If you want to study for TOEFL, you have to be organized. There's no other way. Many students uh, start studying for TOEFL and the first thing they do is they buy a test book and they start doing tests, 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 practice tests, as if this is the only thing they have to do in order to do the exam. Let me tell you one thing, that is not enough. Just doing practice tests, although I must say they are important. A, okay? practice tests are really helpful and you really need to do them, but them alone will not help you improve for TOEFL, okay, for the exam. All right? That's why it's important to come up with a plan and establish a studying routine. In this plan, you will organize your time and what kind of exercises you will do during the week. And here, guys, I'm sorry, but if you are preparing for this exam, one hour a week won't cut it. The test alone is longer than that. So you need to study more if you are preparing to sit for the exam, okay? If you are just learning English, as I said, less is better than nothing. But if you are preparing for the exam, you need to study more. Freaks, any ideas on how to establish a studying routine? Yes, consider studying five days a week, at least an hour. If more, awesome. If not, one hour is enough, one hour is fine. I do suggest buying a book, okay? But not just the practice test book. Uh, there are different kinds of books. So I will leave a suggestion here in the link again for a skill book. What is a skill book? A skill book will teach you how to do the test. So it's not just sitting down and answering the questions. You need strategies, you need techniques, you need reading techniques, listening techniques, writing techniques, speaking techniques. So you need a skill book. This skill book will teach you specific strategies for you to apply on the, on the exam, okay? So buy this book, you need at least one, you don't need many books, okay guys? Don't worry about it, but you do need a good skill book to help you prepare for the exam, okay? There are online exercises you can do, but if you want something more organized, like everything in one place, this is the kind of book you want to get, along with the test books. Now the test books, you can get many of them because once you finish the test, there's not really much you can do about it, okay? So the more tests you do, the better. But you also need this skill book. So get a skill book. Now, uh, for, the, for the plan, I suggest you study five days a week, dedicating your time between writing, reading, speaking, and listening. Okay, the four main skills that are uh, required for the exam, okay? However, you don't need to spend one hour per day on each skill. Divide your time between these activities, okay? Study 20 minutes of, study uh, listening for 20 minutes, reading for 20 minutes, writing for 20 minutes. Depending on the day, for example, uh, there are two essays in the exam. For one you have 20 minutes and for the other you have 30 minutes. So on one day that you're gonna do the longer essay, well, you study 30 minutes. So divide your time in a way that you can study everything uh, for just a little tiny bit, even if it's for 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes is the minimum. You can uh, dedicate time to each skill, okay? So, and if one day you can't study the four ones, study two or study three, but never study just one part, okay? Uh, you need to be able to, to study uh, as much as you can, but uh, effectively. And this is also a good thing because, but it, at some point we start to get bored or tired when we are doing a reading exercise. So by, by doing a different one, a listening exercise, your brain will get some rest, you know, even though it's a difficult exercise as well and it will demand a lot from you, it's a, it's a change of pace, okay? Now, when you are dedicating time to reading, you will have to do the skill book, okay, some exercise they give you, 
and also read as much as you can on the internet from all kinds of subjects because that's one thing is for sure you will get a lot of uh, academic and uh, general articles uh, in this test so you need to prepare for that and the best way to prepare for that is to read a great variety of subjects okay from psychology to biology uh, architecture history uh, technology so science all kinds of subjects okay you will find the craziest articles in this exam so prepare yourself for that read read a lot and for that you don't need to get a book you have the internet idea two build a vocabulary list okay and guys when i say build a vocabulary list i'm not just saying that okay grab a piece of paper write the words that you didn't know write the meaning and you're good to go this list will be useless if you don't use it okay when can you use these words you're learning in your essays when you're writing okay in your writing exam so when you're practicing your writing you can try to use this vocabulary list okay and study and here remember you are studying if you are studying it's okay to check for new words to write, to use on your essay okay of course if you're doing a practice test then you should not use a dictionary but if you are studying then i don't see why not so build a vocabulary list but don't forget to use it okay i have a vocabulary list but i'm always reviewing it i'm always checking it i when i write uh when i add a new word I, I write explanation, but I also write examples, my own examples. That's how you use a vocabulary list. And then on the next day or two days later, I will check this list again and I'll check the words I wrote, okay? All right, at some point, it gets hard to check all the words in the vocabulary list. But pick two, pick five, pick 10, and always review the words, okay? Just writing down the words will be um, a complete waste of time. All right, so this list will help you for the writing and for the speaking, okay? Which leads me to my idea three, record yourself. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, click like and don't forget to subscribe. Priscilla, what do you mean record yourself? Hmm, in the TOEFL test, there is a section which is the, the speaking test. And in this part, you will be required to answer some questions, either general questions, okay, random questions, or you will listen to conversations and then you will be asked questions about it, all right? So two different kinds uh, of questions. If you are studying by yourself, it's important that you feel comfortable recording yourself. Because on the day of the exam, if you do the IBT version, you will sit in front of a computer and then you have to click record and record yourself speaking. Don't worry, it's not uh, the video, it's just the voice, but you will have to record your answer. And what happens here? What's the problem here? Many people get nervous. Many people are not prepared to do that. Many people never prepare themselves to do that. And that is exactly the purpose of this exercise, to make you feel comfortable doing this. You need to be able to give a consistent answer, an organized answer okay that i will be able to understand imagine the examiner listening to your answer he's he can't see you all he can do is listen to you so you have to make sure that your speaking is organized in a way that the person who listens to it will understand and the problem here is you have a minute so this is a challenge for many people to answer the question within the time within one minute that's why practicing will help you. And why you need to do this exercise and you need to practice? Because many students, uh, when I, I, I've done this, I've, I've had TOEFL students, and uh, when they have just one minute and they, I give them the question, I say, okay, one minute, tell me, tell me your answer, go. They get nervous. Oh my God, it's so hard. And they can't organize the answers. They can't organize the ideas. And when they start doing a good job, when they, they get better, when they get on track, the minute is over and they answered half of the question okay that's why recording yourself will help you maybe you won't have anyone to correct your grammar mistakes okay your pronunciation mistakes but by listening to yourself it's important that you tell that you understand did i answer the question did i answer everything uh, they ask it in the question am i speaking too fast and when i say too fast not the fluent kind of fast but the fast like oh my god and 
no intonation, no pauses. It's difficult to understand, so you have to analyze that as well. Am I speaking in a way that people can understand me? And uh, are the ideas connected? I think here, connect the ideas. Don't start, don't start talking about your mom and end up saying that the weather was great. Like, if you're talking about your mom, connect to the weather. If you want to connect the weather, like, oh, my mom uh, loved summer and she would always uh, buy us popsicles. So connect the ideas. So even though you are preparing yourself uh, for the exam alone, by yourself, do this. I am positive that you will be able to improve uh, your speaking skills. Um, I hope these ideas can help you better organize yourself to prepare for the exam, okay? Uh, I will leave all the suggestions I mentioned during the video in the descriptions, but if you have any questions of more additional materials you, would, you could use, let me know in the comments and I will definitely give you more suggestions, okay? Question! What materials are you using? What is your strategy for preparing for the exam? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, okay? Thanks guys and I'll see you next time!